Hey y'all, so uh, today I am at my dad's. So we're over here in Oklahoma. Uh, the kids are outside, or the big kids are outside. The baby's right here, he's just chilling out. Um, I wanted to show y'all something real quick. So uh, just give y'all a quick background. Um, I My name is B. I'm a disabled combat vet. I do have PTSD and I try different ways to try to calm me down, uh, release, um, decrease my anxiety, my paranoia, stuff like that. So lately I've been doing a lot of sewing. Uh, I do sew quilts um, and, uh, and I do a lot of beadwork, but this year I have not been able to do that because I've been really busy with the baby and um, you know just trying to stay focused trying to stay calm uh, I was in a hospital earlier this year in Waco uh, you know what I never even did like a video of like what I went through and you know my story on it but maybe I will um, let me know if y'all want me to do that uh, that video or you know but anywho so um, so I, I still haven't made uh, finished up my neighbor's quilt the one that I'm doing is the uh, re, uh, requilting a quilt saga um, it's just it's like every time that I um, uh, what's that word every time I set up I have to go to the baby or something happens at school or just whatever like I just don't have time so uh, this past few days, Bella, my bumblebee, she's like, oh, well, can I, can we, uh, make a scarf? Because every year, uh, uh, we make something for the family members, uh, my husband's family members, uh, because his family's not as big as our family, so, <laughs> um, so, and also, you know, we spend our Christmas with them. So, uh, this year, Bella decides that she wants to make a scarf. And last year, we made a scarf by sewing them, but she says she wanted to crochet. I was like, okay, you know, let's, let's do that. So, I showed her how to crochet a really quick, um, uh, scarf. Uh, let me, you know what, let me go get it real quick, so that way I can show you, okay? Okay, oh my good lord. So this is the um, the sh scarf that she made, uh, and I showed her how to do this. I was looking on the internet to try to find a pattern on how to make this, and I could not find it. So um, let me let me uh, let me turn around so I can uh, talk to y'all real quick. My dad and the kids are outside. Um, they're uh, they're riding the tractor. So uh, my dad lives in a small little bitty town. Okay, so here's the scarf, and um, and like I said, I was looking on the internet and on YouTube how to make a quick scarf, but I didn't want to show Bella how to go this you know zigzag, you know turn a, a thousand times. I didn't want to teach her how to do that. I wanted to teach her long ways to do one long way Just and then take come a back up look and then back me. down, you know, five ah. or six times. Okay. Uh, hold on real quick. Oh gosh. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so, anywho. So, all we did, uh, for the people that knows how to crochet, um, all I did was I showed her how to do, obviously, a chain. A um uh, because that's obviously the first thing that you got to do. So we did 100 chains, chains, 100 chains. There we go. And then, uh, and then uh, after that, I showed her how to. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you how to turn. So you know we're going to do double crochet. So that's going to be add three more chains, and then and then uh, you turn your work around, and then you start doing your double crochet. Well, I showed her how to do that, and I was kept on showing her, like, you know, how to count, this, this, and that. And, and to me, I think she did a really good job. This one is her first one that she did. 
And like I said, this is a hundred chains. Um, a hundred double crochets. Uh, and I'm going to show y'all how to do this real quick. Uh, like I said, I, I'll, everything that I found on the internet was first you do five chains or first you do seven chains and then you turn your sewing, you know, and then if you're going to be doing a hundred, uh, I mean, you know, going back for back for back for like, I don't have time to stop, make my chain and then turn around. I just want to go, you know, I'm ready to go. So, um, but with Bella, ha it's it's funny. Um, one, let me see if I can show y'all. Okay, so one part, this right here, this the first row that she did, um, is double crochet. Well, when she started turning and everything else, I don't know if you could see, but you see how this is fatter than these other ones because she did half double crochet. Um, uh, it, the only difference is, is in, uh, with double crochet is that you're supposed to pick it, pick up another loop and then go through two, pick up another loop and go through two. Well, in half double crochet, you just pick up a loop and go through all of them. Yeah. But, um, but you know what? It still came out great. So I just told her, just keep on doing what you're doing. It's okay. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show y'all, um, how to do this. Okay. So that's the end of my backstory or Oops, or stories, period. So, all right, let's get this going. Whew. All right, so, see, I already forgot where my camera is. Let me see. Okay, that's the camera. <laughs> I'm still getting the hang of my new phone, so sorry, guys. <laughs> all right, so supplies. First thing that you're gonna need is yarn, okay? Um, Bella wanted her uh, scarf to be poofy and super soft, uh, but you can use any yarn you want, okay? Um, the yarn that we're using, and this is probably going to be backwards, I'm probably going to have to fix it to where it'll be right side right, but I'm going to show it to y'all like this. Alright, so anywho, so this one right here is called, uh, it's made by Burnett. And it's the blankets. It's uh, blanket brights. Um, this is a super bulky. It's a number six on the bulky thing. Um, pretty much. Long story short, the bigger the number, the more fluffier um, the yarn is. And where to find that is going to be in the back. And then there it is. That's the fluffiness. And then it shows like what size needles or this one would be the um, the knitting hooks or the knitting um, needles and then this is the number for the crochet hook um, but obviously it's probably too small you probably can't really read it but that's okay I'm gonna read it for you so the knitting needles but we're not doing knitting because I don't know how to knit is eight millimeters the crochet hook is also eight millimeters um, but like I said, Bella wanted it to be big and fluffy. So the bigger the needle that you get, the more looser, the more fluffier it's going to look. That, that's pretty much the way that I got it in my head. <sighs> so you need yarn. Got your yarn. Oops. Got your yarn. All right. You need a hook, crochet hook. This is a crochet hook, just in case, uh, if you don't know. Um, obviously the ones that Diz knows, they're probably like, yeah, we know what that is. What's the number? Okay. So let me tell you what the number is. The one that I got, uh, for my bumblebee is 11.5 millimeter, uh, for the whole world to, you know, cause everybody does millimeter, but for the U S, uh, this is a size P. So, <laughs> or at least that's what I heard that Americans, we just, we go by alphabet. So, um, so yeah, there you go. 11 and a half millimeters or a P. All right, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy going. Now, the first thing that, that you gotta do, or you gotta know how to do, um, is how to start it out. So I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, so you gotta you go around your finger, 
and then now you got a circle and then just put it in make a loop go inside the circle and then boom that's what i see a lot um me i'm gonna show you because i'm just like whatever uh i just make the circle put my big old fat fingers inside and then get the string and then just pull it through like you're making a knot but you're not making a knot you're making a loop bam and it's adjustable so you go ahead and make it as big as you want put your um hook inside there and then just kind of push it up push 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 there we go but you don't want it too tight you want it you know fairly loose but you don't want it too loose where it's gonna fall off okay so just give you a heads up i am left-handed so obviously i'm gonna be doing it like this but um i believe um if anything uh for the right-handed just mirror whatever i'm doing okay uh and then of course left-handed just do what i'm doing so we got our hook inside the thread or the yarn i got my yarn ball i'm gonna use her scraps so what you want to do and this is what, uh to kind of control it what i do is i uh pick it up with my pinky and then i kind of thread it through my fingers to my pointy so it's like over like that it's over like that and and all this does is like just kind of regulates sorry guys kind of regulates um how much i'm going and if like there's too much like you can um, make it too loose so I just do that just to kind of regulate but I mean you can do whatever which way you want I know that I've seen some that does that sometimes I do that um, and then sometimes I just see people just just hold it like that so it uh, you, you know figure out how you want to be comfortable with uh, your yarn um, on your free hand so but anywho, you want to make a chain. Okay, so here's the ones that don't know how to make chain. Well, okay, here. We're going to make 100 chains. So the people that knows how to make, uh, how to crochet, you're going to make 100 chains. Or however long you want it, okay? Um, like I said, the, this 100 chain right here is like super perfect, you know? So it's like... Oh my god, it's cold. Okay. Alright. So, 100 chains. Oops. There we go. Sorry, guys. 100 chains, or if you want it longer, add more. Okay. So, how you make the chains is all you're going to do is you got your string. You're going to pull, uh, make the, the loop go around the hook. You see how it's inside the tooth? inside the tooth you're gonna now hold the string on one side the tail the tail on your free hand and the hook that has the uh, the hand that has the hook you're gonna pull it through and you keep on pulling it until you pull it through the hook until it goes all the way through there we go just like that okay so let's try it again that's one that's one and and if you're worried about um, if, it, if that right there was too tight um, you know too hard to pull through and that means that your loop was was kind of firm um, and it's loosened up a little bit so let's try it again all right <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> I had to go help out my dad real quick and change. Hey! There we go. And change. Okay, so we did our first loop. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it again. Wait, where's the camera? Okay, where's the camera? <laughs> I'm gonna have to put like a sticker or something right there on the camera. All right, so we have so we have the loop, right? We still have it. Okay, same thing. What I do is I come around make sure that the hook gets the loop 
and then pull it through and and what I do I don't know what this what the proper word is called this part of the hook is called I'm just calling it the tooth so make sure the tooth is looking down so it won't grab um, uh, the other part of the the yarn and then twist the tooth back up and then BAM there's two so that's two um, like I said, for all of the other crocheters that knows how to crochet, that wants to try this out, um, just do a hundred, um, a hundred, um, chain, chain stitches. Okay, so we're going to do it again. So there's that. Like I said, I'm, I'm holding it, holding my yarn on my free hand, loop it around, put it inside the tooth, pull it through. That's three. So there's three. And just in case, if you want to make sure, just count. What I do is I count the, the loop that's right here. So just kind of look on the side. And I, there's one, there's two, and there's three. Like the braid, or the side of a braid, I guess you could say. Stop, Mikey. Please. You can watch. So there's one. Hi. There's two. So that's that's three so you're gonna keep on doing that like I said a hundred times or as many or as less as you want all right so I'm gonna go a little bit quicker so, uh, so uh, loop around loop around put it inside uh, hook it in the tooth pull it through and there's and there's four and like I said just keep on going so I'm going to go normal four, five, and just keep it loose. Don't get it too tight. It's five, six, seven, eight, I don't want to make it a little bit too tight. That's all right. Eight, nine, ten. And then just keep on, keep on doing that until you get to a hundred. All right, so I'm gonna make this go fast forward, okay? All right, so I just double counted, and here's my hundred um, chain piece chains. Single chain. I don't even know what's the proper word. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm doing. Well, no, I know why I'm doing it. So that way, later on in the future, if I ever need to figure out how did I make something that was super quick and easy, uh, I'll just refer to this. Oh, so I'm <laughs> just kidding. Now I just want to show y'all um, an alternative of how I do uh, another way of me keeping calm and making something. Um, productive doing something productive anywho all right so I did my hundred if you want to like double check you know see if you like the length or whatever or if you want to add more that's fine so now we're gonna do the turn uh-huh mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so hope, hope you smack them thank you for watching mm-hmm all right so to turn because we're gonna do um, double crocheting so we're gonna do three more single stitches so let's go ahead and do three more so that's one two three and of course on the hundredth stitch I, I always keep my finger on the, the very last one the hundredth stitch so or if you like oh I don't know which one that was just count backwards you know one two three so here it is right there I don't even know if I'm even doing a good showing y'all. Let me see. Okay, so I just did that. So there's one, one stitch, two stitch, three stitch, and then this right here is the hundred. So we're gonna put this needle inside that hundred. Come on, dude. We're gonna put it inside there. That's this is where where we're gonna put the um, the going upwards. You know the next block over. 
I don't even know the right word to say. Like I said, I'm not really of a crocheter. Mm -hmm. I don't. Um, I don't know all the proper uh, vocabulary. I'll see if I can try to put it up or something on the description or something. But anywho, anyways, three down from what you just made, which is a hundred, obviously. And this is where you're gonna put your your needle at. So. To start out with the double crochet, I'm going to take it out real quick, and I'm going to leave that big old hole right there. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. See, because there's one, two, three, and then there's a hole. Okay, so you're going to, uh, to do a double crochet, you're going to wrap it around one time, so it's like that. So now you got two loops. You're going to go inside the hole, so you go in, just like that. It looks kind of funky right now. You're gonna grab it, grab another loop, <laughs> grab another loop, slide it through. So now you got three loops, right? And I'm holding, and then of course there's my line. There's the, the, the single stitch, <sighs> the chain. Oh my goodness. And then you're gonna grab a loop and you're gonna go through two. So there's your loop, and now you got four. Go through two, one, two now you got two go through two again get the loop go through two again there it is that right there that looks like funkiness that is your double crochet and then this is your stitch your chain coming up so it kind of looks like a square see yeah I don't know something like that anyways so we're gonna do it again loop around and you're just gonna go to the next chain over so there's that there it is okay so here's the the loop that we just picked up now we're gonna pick this loop up right here see because there's a loop 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 okay each one of these top loops is the one that you're gonna pick up so we're gonna come inside this one right here so I already picked up my loop Going inside this. So going inside this. And for the people that knows how to crochet, just obviously a hundred double crochets. So, and then just uh, pull through. Now you got three loops. And add another loop. That's four. You pull through two. You got two, pull through two again. Oops, sorry. Pick up a loop, pull through two again, and there's your double crochet. So now you got now you got two double crochets. There's that one and two. All right, let's do it again. Well, let's do it again. See, like so it, you already picked up this this one right here. So now we're gonna pick up this loop oh. right there. Okay. Same thing. Pick up a loop. Pick up a loop. Go through the next one. Pick up another loop. Pull through. Now you got three. Pick up another loop. Pull through two. Now you got two. Pick up another loop. Pull through two. Now you're back to normal. So now there's three loops. One, two, three. See? And you're going to do that all the way through. Okay? And just remember to try to try your best to keep your um, your um, chain straight. You don't want it to be like all twisting because it'll start looking all funky. So there. So I gotta keep mine straight. Okay. And then just keep on going. So pick up a loop, go through the next loop, pick up another loop, pull through. Now you got three. Pick up another loop. Pull through two. Now you got two. Pick up another loop. Pull through two. There you go. So let's. So I'm gonna go a little bit, a little bit quicker. Okay. Um. So same thing. Pick up a loop. Go through the next chain. Pull through. Pick up another loop. Go. Now you got three. Pick up another loop. Pull through two. Pick up another loop. Pull through two. There you go. See? 
This is a double crochet, so same thing. Pick up a loop, go through the chain, pick up another loop. Come on, dude. Pull through. Now you got three. Pick up another loop. Pull through two. Now you got two. Pull through two. There you go. All right. So this is what we've already done so far. Pretty cool, huh? All right, and then just keep on doing that. So you're gonna have a hundred. Um, you're gonna have a hundred. Um, should have a hundred uh, crochets, and I'll show you how to count that in just a bit. So let's go ahead and put the pedal to the metal and keep on going. Just in case, um, if y'all want me to do a video on how I did my yarn, ball of yarn, uh, leave me a comment below, okay? And just a little backstory on how I learned how to crochet. I first started out a long, long time ago with one of my friend's mom. Then I forgot about it, and then my mom taught me, and then I forgot about it again. And then recently, within this past few years, my uh, sister-in-law, she crochets a lot, and she... Uh, you know reiterated and you know every once in a while I'll get into that whenever I don't have time on sewing so there you go and also just give you a heads up it took me about seven minutes to crochet this whole first lane so just give you a heads up on how long it took me I'm not very fast but you know it is what it okay, is okay so I'm coming up to the end and I don't know if y'all can see it but I have one two three three loops left yep three one two three anyway three or four I don't know I, I, uh, but anyway so let you know, I'm gonna when you know once again I mean I'm pretty sure by this time somebody got it right but just in case um, go ahead and grab your loop go inside your your loop hole uh, your chain Pick up a loop, pull through, now you got three, three loops on your hook, pick up another loop, now you got four, pull through two, now you got two, pull th uh, pick up another loop, and then pull through two, and then there it is. Let's try it again, loop, pull through hole, loop again, got three. Pull through two, or pick up a loop, pull through two, pick up a loop, pull through two again, and then here's one more. Yeah, I did have three. Pick up a loop, go through the loop with the chain, pick up a loop, pull through, you got three, pick up a loop, pull through two, pick up a loop, pull through two. Bam. And just in case, if you don't know, if you have a hundred, just start from the beginning. Or, yeah, I guess you could start over here. So let's see. So each of these little things that's, you know, looking all like a noodle that's up, that's your, those are your, those are your double crochets. Okay? And then up on top, where you see like the two, the two, like a two slit, that's, that's it also. So you can either count the slits, each slit. For each loop, loop thing. See, like right here, there's one, two, three. See, and then four. See. Oh God, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Like I said, I'm at my dad's. My dad is crazy. He's crazier than me sometimes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and count, just in case. See the two, I call these the two lips. That. So there's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, six, okay, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All right, hold on, we'll count it real quick. 36, 37, let me get to 100. 37, 38, How long is that gonna take you? 38, 39, 40, 41. 42, 43, 44. <laughs> That's my dad. 44, 44. Oh shit. 44, 45, 45, 46, 47, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 56, 57, 58, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. Me and I'm going to go to Wichita Falls first, and then that way, by the time we get back, the baby's can probably be tired, and they can probably die. 100. Okay. <sighs> we're going to go do our shit. Well, obviously, you can tell I did not make it after my 100 um, uh, stitches. So... Here I am at home, continuing my project. Like I said, it is so hard for me to do any type of project. Yeah, Treyu. Sit, 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 sit down. Sit, sit. Yeah. Hi. See? Hold on, hold on real quick. All right, got everything fixed. Okay, Treyu. Yeah. Okay. So. Just did 100 or however many that you want to do. Now it's time to go up. Oh, and just to let y'all know, we had an awesome uh, Thanksgiving. So, yay. All right. And I hope y'all had an awesome Thanksgiving as well. Okay. Where the hell am I? Okay, here I am. Come on. Yeah, Trey, that's enough. Lay down. No. My, my little puppy is with me. So we're outside trying to get some some um, clean air. And I got my little baby bee right here. So, all right. So we're right here. I did count it. It was 100. And now we're going to go up. So three up. So you're going to uh, make three. One, two, three. I'll turn your... Turn your um, your project around. Well, with me, it would be like this. And then, same thing. You're gonna loop, up, uh, grab a loop. The very first one. Let me see. Hold on. Get your booty straight. Come on. Come on, dude. Ah, uh, you stupid. Anyways, that's it. There's your first loop. Your first loop. Hold on. Go inside, go inside those, that, those, those loop right there. That's your first, right there. So, loop one. Now you got two. Go inside the hole. Pull. Pull another loop through. There's three. One, two, three. Just in case. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Grab another loop. Pull through two. Grab another loop. Pull through two. There you go. And keep on doing that for another 99 more times. Cool? Alright. And then just keep on going. Pull through. 
Got three, pull through two, get three. I mean, uh, what? Pull through two, get one. He got a blowout. Oh, it's right there. Right here. And then we'll just continue on. Um, hey, Dad! Lisa, I try you. Come here. Hi, the boy. I have no time for myself. Like I said, for y'all that has kids and, and, um, are able to sew or crochet or needle or cross stitch anything like that I give y'all props because I'm still learning I, I'm still learning on how to stay calm <sighs> breathe and do the stuff that I wanted that I want to do so yeah um, oh yeah just to give y'all a heads up uh, I did go to my Black Friday. I was able to leave on time at my dad's house in Oklahoma to come back down to Austin in Texas, just in case nobody knows that. And um, and I was able to take a couple of hours of a nap before six o'clock popped up, and uh, and to continue uh, and to do my Black Friday shopping. Um, I normally do my Black Friday shopping only at Joann's because that's where I get my fat quarters for 79, well it was 75 cents at one point, but now it's at 79 cents on Black Friday. And then um, uh, the fleece, the fleece 70% off and the flannel 70% off and the calico, 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 keepsake, keepsake, or pretty much the, the printed fabric, I guess you would say, for 70% off. And that's where I normally go for my, for my materials. But, you know, like I said, I've accumulated my, my room. Asa! my room um, with years. I would say I've been back from Iraq since 2010 and then I was, I call it my crazy years. <laughs> um, all the way from 2010 all the way up to 2015 and then 15 to now I've been at home with my husband He's been taking care of me, and uh, you know, one day at a time. Um, obviously, I have been in the hospital, in and out throughout the years. It's nothing bad. It's just you know, I when Mommy, it comes time to get help, what I see that it's Chila. No, 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 no. Those aren't Chilas. Uh, those. No, those are for the birdies. Those are the little birds to eat them. Oh, I, did, I know what to put up. Okay. Um, you know, I I know a lot of people are, you know, they're always scared to go to the hospital or to get help. You know, um, behavioral health help. Behavior health help. And um, and it's, it's not help. Behavior health help. And, um, and it's, it's not bad. I mean, you know, they're there to help us to get back to where we want to be at. Um, I know a lot of, uh, I know personally a lot of veterans that are like, oh, I don't want to go get help. They're, you know, there's nothing wrong with me or whatever. Or, or whenever they have their, their moments, they're like, oh, nobody cares for us. And it's like, no, they do. They do care. Trey, what are you doing? Yeah. Sit. He has, obviously. I didn't I didn't take him with me, um, my, my puppy, um, to Oklahoma. I, uh, well, I have my small little car, my little grand, I um, mean, I had a grand down. Uh, my little cruise, my little Chevy cruise. So obviously, all of my four kids and my little puppy can't fit in there. So he wasn't able to come with us. Um, but anywho, um, you know, I, I, whenever, what any, or you know, if I can, or or if I get notification, 
that one of my battle buddies is in distress, you know, I always try my best to, you know, say hi, everything's okay, you know, we're here, you know, and, um, and then we'll continue to talk, you know, for a few days or so, or until, you know, they feel like they're better. I know, like, whenever I get inside my, my stress mode, and, um, um, Asa! I hate so silly. Um, whenever I get inside my little stress mode. Come here! Um, no, Asa! Push Asa back this way! Um, once I, uh, at first, you know, I was like, I don't want to talk to anybody, but then once I am able to talk, um, you know, I'll talk, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, I'm, I'm all right now, you know, y'all go ahead and go do y'all staying, you know, I don't want y'all to be worrying about me, you know, so I'm okay to like disconnect for, you know, for days on, um, after something happens or if I'm, you know, coming calming down or if I'm coming back to normal um, you know but I if you want to keep on talking you know just I always say just let us know you know let us know that you still want to talk <clears throat> I mean a lot of our battle buddies we all know each other pretty darn well so um, so yeah but anywho I am going to continue on crocheting until um, I get to, oh yeah, actually, um, if you're not doing a hundred, a uh, hundred double crochets, you're actually doing 99 because, remember, we went up, remember the three chains, we went up, and then we started, so it's actually 99, and then, of course, the three stitches equals one. That's what I was going to fix myself earlier, but then I got sidetracked. I always get sidetracked, I hate that. Well, I don't know. I guess it's a good thing. I'm watching Asa. It's right there in the little corner. Asa, baby! Mikey, push him. Mikey, push him over here. What, you would like to get over there? No, because I want him back over here, and then he can go back over there. Try to tire him out. <laughs> so let me go on ahead, continue. And, um, and I, like I said, I always double count my my stitches up here um, to make sure I do have a hundred. Where's my camera? Okay, where's my camera? <laughs> I'll tell you, it's going to take me a while to remember this. Okay, so I'm going to do a hundred. And, and if you want to stretch it out, you can. Um, like I said, I think I said this before. When I did this, the, the first chain stitch, this bottom one, uh, I think I did it too tight, so now it's like kind of curly. See, uh, it's like bowing. But you know what? It's okay because it's gonna have like a little, like a little curl on it. So it like it doesn't bother me. We'll just say it's, that's the way I wanted it. So, but anywho, I'm gonna continue on, and then um, and then that's it. Uh, pretty much to the people that crochets and they just want to hurry up and get it over with. Like I said, it's a hundred chains, and then three up, and then start double crocheting all the way through, and then of course you know three up, and then double crochet all the way through, uh, which would be a hundred. Obviously, we just—I mean, no, ninety-nine, because the first three is one, and then the rest is ninety-nine, and then just continue doing that up with a total of five. Um, I don't know the word five lines, five stacks, five whatever. I don't know. like I say I'm not a I'm not like a true crocheter like Jada and Stitch or um oh, Natasia Na Nastasia um Donna Wolf. That's that's who I, I like to look at. Anywho, I'm not them, obviously. But I can try my best to tell you what I'm trying to get at. Uh, for all y'all that crochets, that really do hardcore crochets, are probably you're laughing at me like right about now, which is cool because I'm laughing too. You see me smile. A tree, you <laughs> see even a tree is telling me something. Hold on, let me let me show you my doggy. Uh, come here, tree. Uh. <laughs> Here's my puppy, a tree. Say hi, everybody. Everybody's over here. Not over there. Say hi, everybody. Wee! 
Wait, you forgot Asa. You, you want got... to be the video? Yeah, I guess so. Asa! Well, you gotta slide him over here. <sighs> my life, my days. Yeah. So, so let's continue on. And, um, and I will see y'all. Oh, uh, once Wait. I'm done with this, and then Wait. I guess I can show y'all. What, what? Okay, okay. Hold on a trip. Uh, Mikey wants to bring Asa. Okay, come here, Asa. Oh, his butter. His eyes are looking so much better. Hold on. Well, if you and, can see him. And guess what? Look, he look, uh, right here. Hi. And guess what? He Hi. had a. And guess yeah, what? He had a butt in my a mom. a whole lot better, but someone. Uh, it's still swollen. That's what the doctor says. So. Uh. Well. Right, well, well someone we'll teach uh, Asa to <laughs> head. So what? Hey guys, someone we'll teach Asa to battle. No. Okay. Yeah, he was headbutting right. you. Let me, Let me uh, continue on. What? Oh, Mikey, uh, can you help me pull my yarn? Uh, I like pulling wait. the yarn through my okay, yarn. After I, did the, I made the yarn. After go. you do the last and one, the yarn I'm coming comes in. From in the middle. Wait, no, not that, not that. No, you're gonna mess it up. You're gonna mess it up. You're gonna mess it up. <laughs> not that part, stinky. Yeah, there you go. Wait, I gotta hold my yarn. <laughs> my yarn ball. Okay. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Okay, that's enough yarn. Hold on. Okay. All right. So, okay, so I just double counted, and there is a hundred loops, you know, one, uh -huh. two, and so on and so on. And then same thing. Oh, yeah, and just to give you a heads up, and this is one and two. So there's so two. Like two. So four. we just need three more rows, and then two, we'll be done. Four, so like I said before, six. you want to... Um, uh, go up three, do three chains after right when you get oh, to the monkey, end. Yeah, uh, so that'll be your first, the, your oh, first um, stitch, and then night, and then turn it around. What? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm doing this. Where you at? Okay. And then you turn it around. Obviously, I'm left-handed, so it would look I'm like this. It. Please stop. Please. please I'm please, fixing please. it. Well, it, it, you'll um, and right-handers would be the other way around, but three. Oh, uh, three chains up. Me. Please stop. Three chains up. And then 99 more double crochets all the way through. So I'm going to continue that. And then that will be my third row. Alright. Now we're back. And this is row three. Just in case. Here's one. Two. Three. Yay. <laughs> so. And like I said. I'm going to go ahead and count. The loops up on top make sure that I have a hundred just in case right here one two three four and then so on okay which I should have a hundred and then same thing continue on uh, chain up three and turn your turn your project around or for your right handers would be the other way around and then just continue to double crochet. Put your first double crochet right there in this first hole. And then continue on. So one, two, and then so on and so forth. Three, four, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like I said, three chains up and 99 uh, double crochets. That'll be your fourth row. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this. I guess, and I will show you my fourth row. And that's it. Yay, my yarn is getting smaller. <laughs> ah, look at my ball. My ball's not a ball no more. <laughs> So right here, I'm just showing y'all real quick how I fluff it out or stretch it out from end to end. Um, obviously, I'm doing it with one hand, so it's not that great. But, I mean, you're pretty sure you can get the idea of what I'm doing. Uh, you know, whatever um, yarn that's out of foot, out of line or however which way you want to call it. You know, I just kind of fluff it out and kind of rearrange the, the stitches. And that's it.
Oh, and I also did this on every row. Every time I finished a row, or even if I did a few stitches, I just went on ahead and fluffed it out, uh, stretched it out. All right, and now I'm just done with number four. Just a case. One, two, three, and four. And number five, uh, row five, or if y'all want to stop right here, you can. Or if you want to add more after five, you can as well. Like I said, pattern is three, three chains up, and then 99 double crochets all the way through. And that's it. So let me go ahead and do the fifth row and then um, just kind of show you how I tie it off and hide the ends, okay? Alright, so now we have five. And I'm so sorry for the noise in the background. My brother's cutting the grass in the backyard. And people are revving up their cars. Coming home from work. I don't know. Anywho, alright, so. <sighs> so here's this. There's the end of it. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you cut your um, your yarn, the end of your yarn. Give yourself like, I don't know, I'd say about a good six inches um, of yarn. And then pull it through the, the hole and then tie it. And then uh, what I do is I kind of like weave it through. And, uh, and then that's pretty much it. That's how you hide it. Same thing with the tail. You know, I already, um, since we had already done, um, the, you know, how we started, it's pretty much already knotted up, but just in case, you know, same thing, just, um, weave it through, oops, sorry, just weave it through, um, through the loops, uh, so that way the, the tail can hide through, and then that's pretty much it. So, um, that's it. Let me turn this bad boy around. Alright, let me try to do this with one hand. Okay, so I just, I just cut it. Let's see. God damn it, where the hell is my shit at? Oh. There it is. Okay. So, I'm just gonna pull it through the hole. Through the loop. Pull, 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 pull. Pull. Try to do this with one hand. There we go. See, so that's pretty much already, already uh, secured. There we go. And then um, you can use your needle, your I mean your crochet hook, to um, crochet them in. But if not, you know you can just pull it through the loops. So. I'm just I'm just grabbing the loop, you know, right next to wherever I was just at. And then just continuing on. And I guess you can do this like all the way through until your your um thing is done. Or just do like a little bit. Mikey. Or just do or not or not just um I or not just uh, um, go through your last loop. Whatever that you want. I'm doing three. And then I'm just going to go through this loop. I don't even know if I'm even making sense. Like I said, I'm not. I don't normally crochet. But I do want to try my best to show you what I did. And I would like to share the wealth. So there's that. There. So that one's hidden. Hidden and knotted up. Yay. And then to the last one. Settle down. Okay, come on. It's extremely hard doing this with one hand. Okay, pick up that loop. And I'm 
I'm just going to come down the side instead of on top. There we go. And then one more loop uh, right here. I'm trying to make this little hole a little bit bigger. Okay. Come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Okay. All right. I already pulled it through. And then get your booty over here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, those are my neighbors. They're cool. They're pretty cool neighbors. Um, well, I want to tie the knot, but I am not getting it. Mr. Oink is back. Mm hmm? Mm hmm, Mr. Oink. Mm hmm. Oh, you've been quiet for 34 minutes, seconds. Uh, I thought it was going to be for an hour. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, I thought it was going to be for an hour. I'm going to put it through a so I can tie it up. Yay! And then I'm done. Yay! All right, let me turn. Cool. So, so here it is. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I hope you like. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. What all the other YouTubers says, and I will see y'all in the next. Peace. <laughs>